Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for January 29th through February 4th. This is a reading for singles, okay? I mean, if you're a couple and you're watching it, then you can take what applies, but this is generally for singles or people that want to become single, okay? Something like that. You apply it however you want. I'm saying singles to be safe because we get all these couples who come on here and comment stupid shit. So, you know, I'm just going to label them as singles and we will go with that. And it's not just Virgos. I just happen to be mentioning it during your video. We get it from all signs. Act now, think later. Stop procrastinating. Wherever you're at, there's no love or passion, something like that. It's like there's a lack of feeling, a lack of emotional connection, okay? But there's conflicts that are trying to be avoided. It's like there's a lot of tension here, and there's no need for it. It's time for you to do the right thing for yourself instead of just sitting back. If you just sit back and be bitter, it's not going to do you any good. You're being called to take action. Speak up for yourself. Stand up for yourself, damn it. Stand up for you. I just said it with this card, and then we get this one. This is the hangman reverse. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. It's time for you to let go. Yes, it's going to be a struggle, and it might bring some conflicts, but if there's no love, then, well... It's time for a new beginning if there's new love, really. It's time to release what doesn't serve you. Because you're missing an opportunity in love, okay? The fact of the matter is, is wherever you're at, there's no love, okay? You have to really take action right now. You really have to, if you sit back and be bitter, if you're bitter, then love is not going to come in. And I'm saying bitter because this is the queen of bitterness, reversed, okay? Okay. And so if you're sitting here being bitter, then you can't expect new love to come into your life. All right? There's a chance for new love if you're not bitter. All right? Unexpectedly, you have to let something go. There's no doubt. There's a release that needs to happen. <laughs> Time to take back control of your life, of your emotions, to bring back some structure to your being. Because you deserve so much more. You do. It's time to give to yourself. When you give to yourself, you will receive. All right? I'm going to zoom this in and then we're going to keep going. <laughs> it appears that you could have an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or another uh, Earth sign, uh, Virgo... Capricorn or Taurus that or even a Gemini we have Scorpio as well we have quite a few signs here so I wouldn't limit it to any single sign we have the air signs as well anyway yeah I wouldn't limit it but it appears that you have somebody that is interested in you but your bitterness is holding you back or you're not wanting any conflicts is holding holding you back from this love from happening there's love that could happen, but you're not letting it happen because you haven't released something yet. All right? It's time for a completion. It's time for a new beginning. It's time to let something end, but you have to do it. And in order to do that, you have to control your emotions. You have to control, be in control of your own life. Okay? You have to take the lead here. Yeah, you're missing an opportunity in love. It's like you're dumping it right out. You're just, yeah. I'll let it go because, you know, I don't want any conflicts. You know, and there's no wish fulfillment here. There's no wish fulfillment. It's a lack of lack of happiness, lack of uh, serenity here in your life because you're not taking action. There's a lot of bitterness again. I'm bitter. You may feel like uh, there's just unfair treatment here life's unfair life is so unfair you know like oh goodness gracious but you've come so far you have to stand up for yourself you know you do you do you have the ability 
You have the knowledge. You have the skills. The doubt and the fear in your head is holding you back. You know, if you just if you just do what your heart is telling you to do, the wheel will spin in your favor. But this is a change of course. When the Wheel of Fortune comes up in a reading, it's a change of course. It's a new chapter ahead of you. But you have to release something before this new chapter can begin. So, if you if you just if you just uh live in this depressive state. You're going nowhere. You have to close a door. That's what I see. You have to close a door where there's no love. And it feels like you're blocking the truth. You're blocking the truth. You're not listening to your inner guide. Your inner guide is pushing you to end something and you're not doing it. Okay? That's all there is to it. And it is seriously time to accept the truth. Seriously. You are being offered the ability to speak your truth, to accept the truth, to do the right thing for you, but you keep ignoring it. You keep pushing it down, pushing it down, and just being depressed. I'm just going to I'm just going to fake it. I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend I'm not hearing the truth, but deep down I'm hearing the truth. I know what I need to do. I have to do this. Okay? You're clinging to the past when you really shouldn't be. And it's, it's false. It's like you need to free yourself. You know you need to free yourself. You want to free yourself, but fear is driving you. And it's time for you to accept this lesson and free yourself. It's, you know, yeah, I, like I said earlier, when I thought Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's what's most prominent here. Okay, we do have the other signs, but many of you, it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But anyway, you're being called to get creative. Get creative. It's time to speak. Passion matters, okay? And I think there's a lack of passion, and you are being called to bring the passion back. You're dreaming of, or you are involved in, or somebody was in your life involved in a third party situation, and now there's no happiness, okay? There's no togetherness, all right? Because there was, you know, three's a crowd. And you can't keep pretending that everything's okay. Many of you are sitting back pretending that. Everything is all right when everything is not all right. Okay? That everything is going to work out. This is going to work out. I'm I'm going to keep this blindfold off and I'm going to on. I'm going to keep the blindfold on and I'm going to pretend that this is going to work out and I'm going to keep putting in all my effort into something that is absolutely dead. The death card is underneath here. <laughs> you know, it's like you know, you know you can't keep this secret forever. Eventually it's going to come out. There's some kind of revelation here, and you know what it is, all right? It's like something has been revealed, or it's going to be revealed, or you're hiding it. You are. You're hiding the truth. You're hiding the truth within you. You're definitely ignoring your inner, your inner guide. These are both reversed. You also are involved in a soulmate connection, okay? There is a soulmate for you. But this person isn't probably in your life yet. And this is for singles, mind you. It could be for couples. You apply it however you want. There's a soulmate for you. But this soulmate isn't in your life probably because you, have, you aren't listening to your inner guide. You're not. You're not accepting the truth. Okay? You're not accepting the truth. And you're not letting something end. Okay? Here we have the death card. Something needs to end so that this new beginning can start. You need to accept the truth. And you're not listening to your inner guide. You're pushing down your feelings. That's all there is to it. And these are right on top of each other. That's freaking amazing. I'm telling you what. If you keep pushing down your inner guide, eventually it's going to... some A tower moment's going to come. Okay? Because that's what happens. When you put, keep not listening to what you need to do, the tower comes in. To poke you to a point where you have no choice but to listen. Is that what you're looking for? 
Are you looking for that? Are you looking for the tower to come into your life and cause a major, major disruption? If you continue to deny your inner guide, which you are clearly doing, there, the tower, it will come in. The moon signifies hidden forces. Trust me. There's a cycle that needs to end, and you're not letting it end. You're pretending you're keeping the blindfold on. <laughs> There is a third party situation here, whether you're involved in one now or you're dreaming about one or whatever the case may be, there's a third party situation and togetherness is needed. And you know what? You might also have to make some compromises, all right, in regards to, I see it, there could be a divorce here that, you know, needs to happen or is in the process of happening. There is an opportunity for new growth and that's how you need to look at this. There's an opportunity for a lot of passion here. A new sexual partner for many of you. But you have to move on. You have to move forward. You have to master your emotions. Put yourself in the driver's seat. Take the lead. Replace the fear with faith and move on. This is moving forward. And once you do that, you will be successful with a new partner. Where there's a lot of togetherness. But right, you're not letting this completion happen. This is you. Okay, you're not letting the completion happen. You're not stepping over the finish line. You haven't learned your lesson yet. When the world card is reversed, the world is a lesson. When it's upright, you've learned the lesson. When it's reversed, you haven't learned it yet. You're going to have to make some compromises here. Otherwise, you will never have wish fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, but it's reversed. If you want wish fulfillment, you have to do the responsible thing and master your emotions, take the lead, and move out of this situation so that a new partner can come into your life and relight the fire and the passion that you have that has been burnt out. So Virgo, this is basically an advice reading. There's an opportunity for new love here, but it's not coming in because you're not letting it. You have to take action. Act now, think later. Move forward. Take the lead. Stop ignoring yourself. Stop ignoring your thoughts. I'm going to get you guys an advice card. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this deck this time. <laughs> Let go of the past. Stop clinging to the past. Stop clinging. You're clinging to the past here. Let it go. Let it go. There's no more love there. There isn't. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms, and heart to our love and assistance. Release and surrender. And once you do, really release and surrender. Okay, and I mean really do it. The universe knows if you haven't. If you're still clinging to the past, which many of you are still doing with that Six of Cups reverse, which I've moved it's right here. If you are still clinging to the past, you have not done that. Okay? So once you do, once you master your emotions and really release it, that's when your new partner is going to come in. There's an opportunity for some of you that could come in this week because you have released and surrendered. So Virgo, this is what I have for you. There's an opportunity for new love to come into your life if you have reached this point. Talk to you next time.